Hey everybody, Jim from Partner Engineering at Unstoppable Domains. Today I'm gonna to be going over an introduction to our resolution integration. Resolution is an integration that makes interacting with NFT domains simple and easy to use. It'll allow you to build in better consumer experiences into your applications. I'm gonna cover a bit of what it is, how to integrate it, and address some common questions. So what is resolution? Uh, resolution is a way for interacting with NFT domains. It allows applications to build a better user experience when handling complex fields such as a wallet address or an IPFS hash. Uh, for example, an application using resolution can let their users simply type in its jimbot.nft as their NFT domain instead of having to type in a long wallet address when doing crypto payments. So what can you do with this integration? Well, basically, you can retrieve uh, any of the information associated with that NFT domain. This could be the crypto records or the payment addresses. It could be IPFS hashes for a decentralized website, DNS records, or any custom record types that the user has configured. With reverse resolution, you can even do the opposite and you can associate a wallet address with the NFT domain for that user in the UI. How does it work? Uh, all the data that is retrieved via resolution is all on-chain data. Uh, on the back end, it's retrieved via the smart contracts. Uh, apps can pull this data directly from the smart contracts if they want, or they can use uh, our suite of APIs or libraries to make this simpler. So how do you integrate resolution? Uh, well, we have a few different options for this. Uh, firstly, there's our resolution service API. This is a very straightforward REST API. It's definitely the quickest to integrate. It's very easy to maintain give some future proofing abilities in there. Uh, and this is using an Alchemy node. It's actually an API service hosted by Alchemy. Uh, we also have resolution libraries. These are SDKs uh, supported in JavaScript, Java, Swift, and Go. Uh, you can download these via a package manager, install it uh, into your applications. Uh, by default, they have a node already configured out of the box, so you can simply download and pretty much go right away. Uh, optionally, there's the extra uh, benefit on this one is that if you have a custom node that you'd like to use, you can use that in the constructor. Uh, we also have a resolution command line interface. Uh, this is something that you can use a bit more on a granular level, particularly if you need to wrap it in a different language. And of course, we also have the smart contracts documented fully open to read from. In terms of where we see our partners integrating the most, it's for the most part, it's the resolution service API and the resolution libraries due to how easy they are to uh, get going. Now let's take a look at the resolution libraries. Uh, in this example, I'm going to be using the JavaScript library, but the other libraries basically follow the same pattern. So firstly, from our documentation uh, getting installed, you can see we have a link to the GitHub repository. And then simply just following in the directions in here, what I'm going to do is add it into a new project using Yarn, and then I'm just gonna copy over these couple functions into my code. So here I've done that already. Again, basically uh, what we've created are just two little helper functions. Uh, we've firstly initiated a new resolution object using the default configurations and then wrote these two helper functions just to retrieve some information and log it to console. So now let's go ahead and use them. So for example, using one of my domains as a uh, reference, uh, we're gonna use this function now to pull some of these addresses. Uh, he, as a user, I've already configured them. I'm saying these are the uh, records I want associated with my domain. So let's say we wanted to get the polka dot address. So I'm gonna call my res resolve function I'm giving it two arguments. Uh, firstly, the name of the NFT domain that I want to resolve and what currency or what record I want. So in this case, I want dot. And then simply I run the script. And as you see, I got my polka dot address there. Same thing if I wanted to go to Bitcoin. All I have to do is call that. And there it is. Now, let's say uh, there's a token that lives on multiple chains. And of course, there are quite a few of those. So let's use Tether as an example. Well, when, uh, when using Tether, the issue could be, you could, uh, as the app, it could be ERC20, it could be any other chain. So here we have a resolve multi-chain. And basically all this means is that 
the uh, JSON keys are formatted uh, specifically towards which chain you want to pull it up. So let's give this an example, again, using Tether. So we'll go over it. It's all multi-chain. Again, same domain as before, gym.unstoppable.x. Uh, for currency, we'll go USDT. And for chain, we'll go ERC20. Again, because I have it configured in my domain. And if I run that, you see that we get the wallet address associated with that. Now, again, this is all using just the default out of the box constructor. Uh, if you do want to use your custom node, we have that documented as well. Basically, uh, in the constructor, you would just point it to whatever URL for your node provider it is, and uh, the rest of the code would follow exactly the same as here. So here's a basic example of using our resolution service API. Uh, first step is to head on over to Alchemy and get an API key. Then with that API key, as you see from our documentation, you're simply giving an HTTP get to this URL and passing in the domain name in the query. So for example, I'll pull open Postman. I have that URL set as a variable. And let's say I want to find the domain records for its jimbob.nft. And just like that, you can see the JSON it returns, pretty much all the data associated with it. So here you can see some of the uh, wallet addresses that this domain has uh, configured to it. You can also see some data about the owner of it, what uh, blockchain the domain lives on, the name of it, and where the smart contracts are located. As one more example for one that has a little bit more data. Here in this one, you can see I have a IPFS URL set on this one. So if you wanted to pull it up for uh, resolving a decentralized website, that can be retrieved from here. You could also see some email addresses I have publicly available on here, a whole ton more uh, crypto addresses, both single chain coins and uh, multi-chain tokens. And again, some of the same metadata associated with it as before. As you can see, uh, using this method, all you need to do is call the domain name and you get back all of the associated addresses. So then from your app, you're just extracting out from this JSON object, whatever key value pair you need, and then proceeding to use that. So now I'd like to cover some frequently asked questions regarding resolution. Uh, one question is, well, my app doesn't support Polygon. Can I still integrate resolution? Uh, and the answer is, yeah, totally. Uh, integrating resolution is as simple as integrating a JavaScript library or a REST API. Uh, basically, the back end of the integration is what handles all the blockchain stuff. Uh, and additionally, there's no transactions that need to be signed. There's no gas fees that need to be paid in calling resolution. So any application can integrate it, any application that would be calling a JavaScript API or calling a REST API. Another question, how does uh, resolution bridge assets for transactions? Well, it doesn't, and this is a point of confusion. Uh, while resolution is used for simplifying crypto payments, it doesn't actually process the crypto payment itself. Uh, the integrating application will use resolution to retrieve the wallet addresses associated with the NFT domain, but then it's still up to the integrating application to actually process uh, any blockchain transactions that they do with that information. Uh, the integration itself, resolution, is simply retrieving the information from the blockchain about the NFT domains. Uh, another question is, can I retrieve off-chain data with resolution? And no, uh, resolution only retrieves the on-chain data that's associated with that NFT domain. And a final question is, what are some of the best practices for handling tokens? Let's say, for example, ERC20 uh, Tether. Am I supposed to pull the Ethereum address or how do I handle that? And the answer is that best practices are that to pull for each specific token. Uh, users can configure addresses for each token on each chain. So it won't necessarily be the case that someone's Ethereum address is the same as their uh, Tether ERC20 address. So best practices are at very least at the front end to when the user is looking to send like USDT on ERC20 uh, standard to pull for that address first. Don't just uh, pull for the Ethereum address and then use that because it can be configured per token. <laughs>